Welcome to mm -hmm. I don't want to just steal from game theory, right? Because as you know that um, game theory is losing their host map path and having new ones well, all theorist channels are having new ones, so I want to just like kind of lean into something else I do not know what my last proposal was for the last um intro you know um oh my god hold on <laughs> I'm sorry oh I'm sorry I did not I didn't know Oh, moving on. I hope you guys are having a good day. Today's day, we'll be going over some new characters. Like usual. And, oh my god. That's okay, I guess. Um, we have a literal god of fire. One of the strongest gods ever. So, this I sort of have a... It's weird. Hold on. Let me see. There. No. Hold on. Okay. So... There's a flame god that has their own species called the Flarians. I know, very creative name. Um, but that's it. They have their own species yet. So little more. And I think we're gonna have a, a few ones like this are the same anyways that's it for him her sorry we got oh my god i, I hate these names pog strike the god of strength i should i should just call them what they are instead of a name because at least then it sounds a bit more intriguing like pog strike like what was i thinking you can clearly tell this was made by, I don't even know what to call it, like, it wasn't made by present day me, right? And I, I probably will find the names, just not all of them, because I'm not a psychopath. I mean, do you know how many... Do you know how many characters exist here? We don't even... I don't even know. I'm just assuming that it's over 700. It's probably more, to be honest. Let's see what we got for the same... You see, I'm thinking it's going to be a pattern here without some actual lore to hold it hold it together. I'm hoping that there will be a, an outlier or two, but... Oh, wait, hold on. I know I made it. Mm -hmm. Pog strike. It sounds so stupid when you say it, Pog. There you are. Oh, wait, hold on, we gotta... I think this is a conversation. There. No. No. I'm not trying to get canceled, Jesus. No, my God. Okay. 
just go. Oh, for this. All right. So the Damarinians are species made by Pog Strike. You see, this is the problem because I can't really get into like the lore of the all of the species of the gods of this universe because that is heavy lore for one character in specific which we're gonna get into probably not this video so just know that they'll have a fate and i'm not talking about the fate fran franchise that's a totally different thing but yeah these are two of the gods of the harvel universe now we're getting into a new universe a god of Which universe? Oh, the false god universe. <laughs> He's the most... Oh. We got Dios God. Fun fact, this character also got... He never got... He wasn't originally made from my add-ons but he was very inspired by them let's just say that he's not like um j lab Zip or any of the guys you know um anyways he has just got like power and a humongous ego to go with it and when at a point of the timeline and this timeline is insane all right so hear me out at one point of the time that he had this power and soon like he had this amount of power he had friends he had everything that he could have wanted until his friend insulted him, calling him self-righteous, good for nothing, worthless piece of crap. And it actually affected him, right? You kind of get the similar feeling of Homelander, right? Like him being a baby and all hurting his pride. It started, and he started to lose his mind. So this is a parallel to Homelander. But he almost killed his friend and then finally realized what he was doing was wrong. So he stopped and left. For 10 years, thinking the town would be better off without him. Remember, this is, this is no regular town. This is... A town where a superhuman like Kiro, like him, had to be, you know, be there in order to stop the criminals, the scumbags that reside in this place. So, what do you think is going to happen when he takes a 10 year hiatus? Would he be right with the world? Well, the town being better without him he seems to think so but um that's a unpopular opinion to say the least um yeah this guy is a interesting character because he runs away right he doesn't succumb to his insanities. He loses. His ego gets burned out and burned down because of that realization itself and isolation and what it can do to a being even beyond human. 
he can still feel this. He can still feel like he doesn't, he just feels like he doesn't deserve it, and he left. And in this one act of cowardice set for, um, set the plan out, not the plan, but set out the key events that happen within this story, that happen within this sort of timeline where There's no savior anymore. There's no... I mean, there's the police, but... What are they... I mean... It's this town was overrun by crime. that It needed a hero like him. He doesn't know how he got his power. Well, I don't think he does. He probably doesn't know how he got his power. So we got a theory. If he knows how he got his power, that's like if he what if he didn't know what how he got his power? What would happen then? Right? We have to consider all po- po- possibilities. What if he if he didn't know of his power? How do you think he learned of it? Do you think that his friend, the very friend that pushed him away, the very friend that he almost killed, was the one that helped him realize his own capabilities? How does, are these capabilities kept secret? Does he just wear a mask while he stops evil? Does he own, what does he do with his power? We did establish that he is a savior, but is he only a savior? Like, there's a lot of questions here. And I do not think I have many answers, but I'll see. Maybe I'll surprise myself. Nope, that's not even, yeah, I can't find him. Yeah, yeah. I'm done. So this will be like a story of isolation, right? What isolation can do to a being like him. That's at least what I see. And another overpower. This this has just been a, a day of gods, right? This has been a day of talking about godlike characters which was not intentional in the slightest but here we got Tora she is not actually a god but she's godlike so it's she's creative she has overpowered weapons and armors that are made from paper And she's bored every time someone challenges her to a fight because she knows she will win. What does she do with this power? What would a narrative with her as the protagonist look like? Do we have any dialogue of her? Oh my god, I actually... 
Oh my god. Oh. Huh. Okay. Toro was born as a talented fighter and went on adventures to find something or someone that was able to match her skill. But that person slash thing didn't exist in the world, at least. Tora found a cave full of witchcraft and a decaying skeleton in it. She was mortified. And then a note just fell out of nowhere onto the skeleton. She felt bad. She walked up to and took said note because of a hunch and found out that person was trying to go to another dimension for some reason and she could find the warrior she spent her whole life looking for so she collected everything needed for this portal and she made some armor just in case something went wrong and the portal worked but it wasn't able to open wasn't able to be opened in that dimension then her weapons and armor automatically became white and had a design that looked like they were paper but it made her stronger and stronger the more she was there one year of being there it got boring quickly no one could take her on she was desperately looking for, and her father was desperately looking for her. Found out the note and the cave, so he wanted to get to his daughter, but failed. So many times, but because he actually lost the note. He was looking for the materials he needed months for months so he got another way becoming a ghost quicker mobility and killable and more should be enough to find that note it's the only thing he could find that could help him so he killed himself became a ghost and he still couldn't find anything so he became a stronger ghost Killing others and controlling them in their phantom like stakes. But still, no luck. He has tried so much for 500 years. Oh! Oh my god. I think I got an idea. So, Tora is basically the antagonist. Um, son. Huh. Interesting. Well, let me know in the comment section below which character you like the best. I think there's a clear winner because there's, I mean, there's much more to go with for Terra. While there is more potential with other characters because there's not much to do much not much written in stone yet um at least we gotta talk about it so please hit that like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you never miss another video and i will see you guys tomorrow